Working together as a pride, lions are able to defend their cubs and to hold onto large territories. Together, they are also able to take down one of Africa's largest ungulates, the Cape Buffalo. But these hefty herbivores are notoriously bad-tempered, and tales of them fighting back are legendary. Only one morning, we were following a herd of buffalo. There was like 350 buffalo in the herd. And while we were following them, they started acting very strange as if there was predators in the area. We followed them for a while and we found four young male lions. They were about two and a half, three years of age. And the buffalo started harassing the lions and the, the young males were trying to run away. They were trying to get away from the herd of buffalo. And in the confusion of 350 buffalo chasing these lions, they managed to divert one of them and they chased him. The buffalo is a herd animal. As soon as one takes a step forward, you've almost got your peer pressure to take another step forward. So once a few of them start to make an attack in terms of defending themselves and their youngsters, if the lions don't back down and they get isolated as in this situation, the buffalo will continue to put the pressure on the lion, and the lion really needs to make a quick escape, and he knows that. He ran into a tree that had a nice fork in it, and he held himself up in the fork of a tree, and while he was up there, he started getting very tired. We could see his, his paws, he was starting to shake, and he was looking for a place to, to jump down, but as he jumped down, he landed right in the middle of the buffalo. They started beating him, they started thrashing him in the air, and as he got on the ground, they were just pushing their horns into him. The guests ahead of the time were incredibly emotional, they were screaming, do something, do something, but unfortunately he just couldn't do anything. The lion had been hit numerous times by these buffalo. He was actually lying flat on the ground after he was dead, and then he kind of looked with one eye open, and at the same time a buffalo came from behind and hit him on the backside, and with the momentum it lifted him up, and he took the gap and he ran away, he ran right through the gap. The buffalo ran right after him, and we were then tailing both of them, and we managed to see them escape, which was absolutely incredible. And uh, much the relief of all of us, and I guess as well, just really excited that he managed to get away, and we had such an incredible sight.